Welcome to my dear students from online class Kalpati Subject. We are going to discuss about applications of Gauss law. Now the second application intensity of electric field due to an infinity charged plane sheet. Intensity of electric field due to an infinity charged plane sheet. Now already discussed the charge. Uh, surface charge density then sigma is equal to q by s which is the important definition what is the sigma sigma is the surface charge density that is the charge in the surface area the unit surface area of charge is known as surface charge density then sigma is equal to q by s now it is a plane sheet infinite charge plane sheet op x y the charge is Q it is the positive charge plate and surface charge density is a sigma. The intensity of electric field due to plane shape this direction is a E and our side is also E. But now for determination of intensity of electric field it is a E and E. Now we are constructed the Gaussian surface which is the Gaussian surface inside and outside the plane shape inside up inside is the x length and outside is also x it is a gaussian surface gaussian surface a b c b it is the gaussian inside x and outside the x of the plane shape the gaussian surface before not we are observed bd surface area what is one ds3 and the uh, AC surface area is uh, DS4. Then DS3 and uh, electric field direction, these are perpendicular to each other. Similarly, E and DS4, these are perpendicular to each other. But you know the electric test definition, what is the formula? Then D pi E is equal to E DS cos theta. It is the definition of the electric press. Now, from the figure DS4, what is the AC surface area DS4 and the BD surface area DS3. Here, DS3 and DS4 are perpendicular to E. Once again, then DS4 this is perpendicular to E and the ds3 is perpendicular to e then perpendicular means that it is equal to how much 90 degrees so what is the angle the angle between e and ds here theta is equal to 90 from this equation d by e is equal to e ds cos 90 cos 90 is equal to how much which is the value equal to 0 then d by e is equal to 0 from this equation, what of the electric press? No electric press formed which area ds3 and ds4. Now, now what about the electric field? Now the total electric press is formed by no here. ds1 AB surface area ds1 and C D surface area ds2. Now we are observed. These are parallel to each other. Here, these are parallel to each other. From the figure, now we are observed. DS1 and DS2 which is AB surface area DS1 and CD surface area DS2 these are parallel to each other parallel to these are parallel to E parallel to E what is the formula electric plus then D by E is equal to EDS cos theta now ds1 and ds2 for parallel to e parallel is the theta is equal to how much then theta is equal to 0 then cos 0 that is equal to 1 then d pi e is equal to e ds but this is only from one area a total electric flux to this two areas now we can write then d pi e is equal to e ds1 cos theta plus E D S2 cos theta. Here D S means this area and D S is a 
the CD area. Therefore, now that theta is equal to 0 from this angle, the y equation, then d pi e is equal to e ds1. The theta is equal to 0. Why? Because this is a parallel to e plus e ds2. But these are equal areas. Now we are observed. Then ds1 equal to ds2. That is equal to now consider ds. Then d pi e is equal to e d s plus e d s then d pi e that is equal to 2 e d s which is the equation number 1 ok now we find the electric pass is passing through only a b area d s on angle c d area d s2 but we want the total electric pass is passing through from the total Gaussian surface. Now we do integration on both sides this equation. Now the over integral d by e that is equal over integral 2 e ds here derivative integration is cancelled then pi e 2 is constant e then over integral ds and derivative integration is cancelled. Finally, we get the equation phi e is equal to 2 es, which is the equation number 1. From 1 and 2, d phi e, it is only possible to the two areas ds1 and ds2. But phi e is a total, total electrosis possible to the total cross in surface. Then phi e is equal to 2 es. If now, according to Gauss law, According to Gauss law, Gauss law, what is the equation then? Pi e is equal to q bar epsilon naught, which is the equation number 3. Now we are observed from equation 2 and 3, from 2 and 3. Now LHS will so can observe now, pi e, pi e, then RHS is also equal. 2es that is equal to q bar epsilon naught equation number 4. But you know the definition of pressure density, what is the formula? Sigma by q by s already discussed, this is the formula. Now from this equation, then we do cross multiplication, then we do then q is equal to sigma s. This value substitution will replace q now. 2es that is equal to Q means sigma s by epsilon naught. Now s, s is cancelled. Finally, we get the equation E is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. It is the intensity of electric field due to infinity charge plane sheet. Okay. Now one second. What is the equation? Intensity of electric field due to an integrated charge plane sheet. Now we consider it is the plane sheet OP XY of charge is Q and surface charge intensity sigma. Actually, the field intensity of electric field is direction. This is perpendicular to plane sheet. But for determination of E, we find the total electric pass for passing the total plane sheet. Now we are constructed to a Gaussian surface inside x and outside x that is over my ABCD. Now we are observed. Yes, the BB surface is the DS3 and AC surface area DS4. The DS4 and DS2 parallel to it. Now we are observed. Here DS3 and DS3 perpendicular to but for the definition of electric pass, what is the formula? D by is equal to E D S cos theta. Now D S and D S plus perpendicular, perpendicular is 90, then cos 90 that is equal to 0, D by is equal to 0. From the equation, the electric is not formed B D surface and A C surface. It is only formed on D S1 and surface and D S2. But we are observed D S1 and D S2 are parallel to E. Now ds1 and ds2 are parallel to e. Upon now the, the definition of electric pass, what is the formula? d by e is equal to e ds cos theta. Now ds1 and ds2 are parallel to e. 
Then d pi is equal to ed is positive. d is equal to how much? 0. Then d is equal to 0. Or 0 that is equal to 1. Total a is equal to as. Now we can write the formula d pi is equal to ed is equal to cos theta plus ed is equal to cos theta. Then ed is equal to ed means 0. Then the value is equal to 1. Here theta is equal to 0. The value is equal to 1. ed is 1 plus ed is 2. D by is equal to EDS, DS1, DS2, these are equal. Then DS1, DS2, that is equal to DS, EDS plus EDS, and then D by is equal to 2 e DS. Okay. Now, it is the only passing through the ordinary small area. But we want a total Gaussian surface. So we find out the total electric process passing through the total Gaussian surface. Now, this equation, integration on Gaussian surface. Integration of d by is equal to over integral to give ds. Here, derivative integration is cancelled, then pi e, it will be constant, derivative integration is cancelled, then 3 e s. Okay, 3 e s. But according to cos, what is the formula? Then pi is equal to 3 by epsilon naught from 2 and 3 are observed. Let us see what is the value of also equal. 2 e s is equal to 2 by epsilon naught. Next is our question of density. Sigma is equal to Q by S, then Q is equal to sigma S. So this equation, the total value of this Q is equal to sigma S is value substitution equation for at replace Q. Then sigma S, this is the cancel. Finally, we get the equation e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Then Julie.